data science or computer science? Let's finally settle the debate on which field is the best. In this video, I'll give you an overview of what the two fields are and then talk about the roles that you can do in addition to the types of education or degree you need to do to get into data science or computer science. And then finally, we're gonna finish off with what types of salaries you can expect in each of those fields. So make sure you stick till the very end for the saucy details. I'm Saman Vey, a data scientist living in Sydney, Australia. Data science and computer science are both a fundamental foundation of the digital world that we live in today. Data science is a multidisciplinary field that combines statistics, analytics technique, as well as machine learning to allow us to extract valuable insights from data. In addition to this, it allows us to create data products that fundamentally changes the way businesses operate and function. There's no denying that data science is a rapidly growing industry. According to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, the demand for data scientists is expected to grow by 15% from 2019 to 2020. Nine. Now this huge demand is proportional to the amount of interest that organizations are taking in applying data science techniques and building data science teams in-house in their organizations. Computer science on the other hand focuses on the theoretical and practical approaches to computing and its applications. This includes software design, algorithm, system design, and even hardware or network design that underpin a lot of the applications we use on a day-to-day -day basis in this digital tech world. The demand for computing professionals is set to increase by 11% from 2019 to 2029, which is way more than a lot of the other occupations in other industries. Now this massive growth is as a direct result due to the greater emphasis on cloud computing technology, the need for storing and processing huge amounts of big data, and for the greater need for robust information security given how digital all of our lives are becoming. I think you'll agree with me when I say that both data science and computer science are in huge, huge demand given how critical they are in our modern infrastructure. And you can't go wrong as far as the number of jobs out there are concerned. Now let's talk a little bit about the types of roles that you can expect to be doing in data science versus computer science so that that helps your decision making in which field would be the best for you. So in data science, there's broadly four different types of professions that are out there. This is including that of a data scientist, data engineer, machine learning engineer, and a data analyst. So data scientists will usually be jack of all trades. So they'll mainly be responsible for interfacing between the business and technology to come up with a business use case that can then be converted to some sort of a data product. Depending on the size of the company, they'll be doing anything from cleaning and processing, transforming the data to building models to extract some sort of a valuable insight from that data to action in a meaningful way. And at the end of this exercise, they would typically churn out a model or a data product that will help businesses achieve some sort of a revenue generation or some sort of a cost savings. Then we've got data engineers. So data engineers in more bigger organizations with a fully formed data science practice will usually be responsible for building data pipelines. Their job is to get very hands-on with the data and build technical tools to build pipelines that can help us undertake the ETL process, which is the extract, transform, and load process on the data. And usually the end users of the data they've cleaned will be the data analyst and the data scientist. Then you've got the data analyst. So the data analysts are mainly responsible for analyzing and extracting valuable insights from data, but to also build reporting dashboards that can inform the business on on KPIs of a lot of their strategic or product initiatives. They can also be expected to present a lot of the findings back to the business and help formulate some sort of a strategy for decision-making when it comes to launching a new product or some sort of a new business initiative. Then finally, you've got the machine learning engineers. So they're the ones responsible for implementing and fine-tuning models in production. So usually data scientists will build some sort of proof of concept, then they'll hand that off to machine machine learning engineers to productize the models in a scalable and robust fashion. Now in the land of computer science, you also have four different types of roles. These 
include the roles of a software developer, database administrator, information security professional, or a system architect. So firstly, the software developer. So that's the type of computer science professional that you would have most likely heard of. So these are the people that are responsible for designing, developing, and maintaining software applications. This role usually requires a solid understanding of programming languages, as well as software development methodologies. In addition to being able to fulfill user requirements as laid out by clients or company that you're working for. Then you've got the system architects. So these are more experienced professionals that are responsible for coming up with the architecture of software, hardware, or networking based applications. They usually have a couple of experience as a more technical individual contributor that then step into the role of the system architect. They're usually responsible for making sure that systems are designed in a way that they're scalable, affordable, and also secure. This is also the profession where you can expect to make a good amount of money given your high level of specialization and experience. Then you've also got database administrators. These are the people responsible for trying to figure out what type of storage systems or databases to design in order to safely and securely store data and also making sure that users can access that data without too much of a hurdle. And in case there's any issues and they're always on the line to fix those issues so that all the data professionals have access to the data as needed without any issues. Then finally, you've got cybersecurity professional. These are the people that are responsible for making sure that any company or enterprises, IT systems are not vulnerable to any internal or external threats. And cybersecurity is a huge field on its own that I've made a separate video to tackle. So if you're interested in learning more about jobs in the cybersecurity profession, then be sure to check out my data science versus cybersecurity video, where I talk in a little bit more depth what cybersecurity is like and whether or not it's gonna be fit for you. Now let's talk about the education required to get into data science or computer science. So typically for data science, I think it's needed that you've got a bachelor's degree in some sort of a tech field. This could be statistics, this could be mathematics, or even engineering. And you've also got universities that offer a Bachelor of Computer Science with a specialization in data science. This would be my recommended degree to do if you're interested in data science because it leaves you with a lot of options to pursue other computing careers as I mentioned earlier. And then if you're a mid-career transitioner with a bachelor's tech degree or you're looking to immigrate to Australia, then I'd definitely recommend the Master of Data Science degree because that is a great pathway for any new transitioner to learn the practices of data science within two years and get out into the industry to get some work experience. Then for computer science, my most obvious recommendation is the Bachelor of Computer Science. As this degree allows you to specialize in a wide range of fields so that you have a lot of options open to you after you graduate. You can decide to specialize in data science or cybersecurity amongst a lot of other types of specializations. And then if you're interested in pursuing the academic route or to be some sort of a researcher, then you can choose to pursue a Master of Computer Science degree and pair that up with a PhD. So a PhD is what you would need if you're after research scientist-like roles at places like Microsoft or Google, or you want to simply be a professor or a lecturer at a university. So that's the path I would go down. Now finally, onto our sourcey details. What kind of salaries can you expect in either data science or computer science? So here's the list of the average salaries you can expect in the four data science professions I mentioned earlier. So this is strictly an average range, but clearly if you're a more experienced data scientist or a machine learning engineer, you can expect to earn upwards of about $150,000 to $160,000 per year. And it's usually the specialized professions that will command a higher salary. So now let's talk about computer science and here's a list of all of the average computer science salaries that I talked about earlier. And same thing holds here, the more experienced you are, if you're a senior developer or a system architect, you can easily expect to earn more than $150,000 to $160,000 per year. So hopefully that gives you a good taste as to what the salaries are between the two fields. You realize that both are equally well-paid professions. So salary probably not be a big factor for choosing either of the fields given they're both high growth fields. So I'd definitely recommend trying a few of these subjects out and try to see which field you would like more, computer science or data science. So that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, then smash the like button and I'll see you next time.